here on Most Buffalo with Mostly Interesting, and we're starting by revisiting something we talked about just a few minutes ago, New Year's Eve. The Las Vegas Review Journal says it's expecting this New Year's Eve to be the busiest day ever for weddings in the Sin City. And that's because of the date that you might not have realized what it is yet. It's 12-31-23, but when you write it out, it's a repeating pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you couple that with a day that's typically a big celebration day. It's a recipe for a lot of couples wanting to cement a special day as their anniversary. So here's the number Las Vegas is looking to beat, 4,492. That's the single day record for marriages in that city set on July 7th of 2007. And that, of course, was a lucky date for a lot of people because written out, that's 777. Then November 11th, 2011, had the second most Vegas weddings because that date was 11-11-11. Right. So people pick their date and then get married on that date. They follow the numbers. Yeah, they do. We'll see how many we get this year. Right. <laughs> well, they beat the record. We don't know. Mm, we'll see. All right, we have already talked this week about things you can do uh, for disposing of your Christmas trees, but when you're ready to get rid of them, but maybe one group you didn't expect would want the trees, alpacas. An alpaca farm in Connecticut spoke out about the benefits for their animals and the farm. Roaring Acres Alpacas owner Allison Minch says the trees are good for their digestive systems. She says the animals primarily eat the needles off the trees, allowing them to chip the rest of the trees up to use for mulch in the spring. And many farms around here will also take your old Christmas trees to use up safely, including one group. Kelly, you'll be talking with this yeah. next week. Yeah, Let's Goat Buffalo. The goats oh. also love your Christmas cool. trees. You have to take everything off of the trees. They can't be sprayed with anything but they are accepting trees too. Oh, and I'll great. be talking to them on Tuesday. Gotta reuse them. Yes, and yeah. then that recycles the trees. Unless of course you have a fake tree. You can't can't bring the fake tree, no, but the goats no, and the no. alpacas love the real ones. That's great that, yes. that can be used that way. Yep. And we used to cut down trees you know, for Christmas tree every year and now we got the one we just put in the basement. Yeah. We bring we it up it every, every year, year. They, we reuse it now. We yes. used to put the tree some trees in the yard for the birds and squirrels to use after oh. we growing up. That's what my parents always did. And I think right now in their yard, there's probably a whole bunch of old Christmas trees that you know have gone back to the land. Right, that's, yeah. that's helpful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we'll have that story next Tuesday on Most Buffalo for you. But ahead